Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman for this two o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's at 413. Yesterday was down at 300 points at one moment. It, it closed down 200. And look at this nice big green candle. Most important thing is that the nine is still over the 14 period moving average in the daily chart. That's what I, I've been looking at as residual strength. This is actually a little bit more than residual strength, but we need to see how it closes and what happens tomorrow. Uh, key support now is at 33,530, I'd say, uh, just off the cuff. Looking at the S&P, <clears throat> S&P has also had a very nice candle today. It's trading at this point. It's trading up 1.57%. Um, Dow's only at 1.2%. Uh, S&P is up 63 at 41.19. <clears throat> and both, um, in this particular instance, the nine is still positive. Uh, it's held the inside track uh, support level. What's really important about this is that it's helping the weekly chart. If you just go sideways for a little while, it's going to garner enough strength to move that weekly chart into the 4230s. But at this particular point, we're at 4120. It's, it's a bit of a struggle to see if we can take out the 4169 high that was made just a, about a week and a half ago. What we're looking at in the QQQ, that's different. <clears throat> Basically went sideways from the 321.63 high, double topped the 321.42 about eight days later, pulls back sharp. It looked ugly yesterday and the day before. All of a sudden, this is fantastic with Match and other stocks like, like uh, <clears throat> what have we got there? We've got a Microsoft as well doing very nice, and that's helping the weekly chart. So key support is now at the 315 area. If at any point, it starts to trade in the 322s next week. That's going to be a big deal. That's going to be very positive. Looking at the IWM, it's being very weak. It's coming back a little bit here. It's at 173. Gold is really the issue. <clears throat> Gold is trading uh, up about unchanged at 1997. Gold, if it breaks above 222, that's going to be good. <clears throat> but if it slides under 1973, not so good. So uh, have a great day. Stay tuned for great programming. Check out my opening call newsletter, and I'll be doing a webinar on Wednesday the 3rd. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Have a wonderful day.